hello students welcome to the channel and uh, this is uh, we are going to study today fewer when to use the word fewer okay we had already studied when to use much little many few more less many much and all that uh, so today we will be learning when to use fewer and this is the last part of your lesson number four that is confusing adjectives okay students Okay, so uh, here it's given that you use fewer or less in informal English with plural nouns to refer to a number of people or things that is smaller than other another number. Uh, now, what is informal English? Informal English is a type of English that is the written format of the English. Okay, so there are two forms. One form is the formal, and one is the informal. Formal English is actually the English that we use while writing, uh, you know, to authorities while writing, you know, while writing essays. The English that is used in textbooks or any journal like that is actually a formal kind of English. Informal English is a very relaxed type of English which we can, uh, you know, which uses a lot of slangs. Okay, which uh, we use with our, which we, you know, use it with our friends, with our, uh, the words that are actually not a part of English dictionary that we use. Okay, so that is uh, the informal English. Okay, so that is not the written form of English. Textbooks and all are not written or any journal or anything like that is, that is very, very important is not written in informal format of English. Everything is written in formal. So the the words uh, fewer or less is used in informal English. That means if you don't want to, if you want to be very re relaxed, not very serious, you know, a very serious kind of English is the formal English and the English that is a bit more relaxed and uh, you, they let you use the slangs, they let you use everything else that is the informal way. So, the, uh, fewer and less is used in the informal English, okay? And why it is used? It is used with the plural form of the nouns to refer to a number of people or things that is smaller than the other so there is a comparison if you notice over here students so there is a comparison over here if anything is smaller than that particular thing with which you want to compare then it fewer or less is used okay so examples are given uh, there are fewer trees here they have sold less computers this year. So if you notice indirectly they are comparing the sentence. Even though the sentence is does not look like it's being compared to something. If you read it carefully the sentence are actually being compared. Okay. So for example there are fewer trees here. So subconsciously they are actually comparing the trees over here to the trees you know wherever they used to live or wherever they have seen already okay students so there are fewer trees here it means that there are less amount of trees over here than that of that they had seen somewhere else okay this is the meaning of the sentence okay so unconsciously or subconsciously they are comparing the sentence even though inside the sentence you do not find any comparison so that time fewer or less is used okay so they have sold less computers this year it means that they have sold less computers this year as compared to the computers that they had sold maybe last year or maybe 10 years ago or maybe 20 years ago who knows but in the sentence if you read you find a subconscious uh, comparison okay students so when there is a you know subconscious comparison that means you want to compare two things but you don't want to uh, you know state it inside the sentence or you actually want to compare okay for example if i say there are fewer trees here then than that at my village okay so here i am actually saying and comparing but here the sentence is given as if the trees are being compared but they don't want to say it okay there is a subconscious comparison that time or you can even compare it 
by showing comparison okay so for example they sold less computers this year as compared to last year or as compared to two, year, two years ago okay students so that doesn't matter you compare it subconsciously or you really compare it in reality okay students so here are were the two examples where fewer and less are used fewer and less are used in informal type of english okay informal format of english okay students i hope you all have you have uh, understood this and it's clear to you what it is all about and if you all have any doubt please feel free to email me so that i can get back to you okay students so we'll meet in the next period till then stay tuned